Welcome into another edition of QB Academy. Jeremy Huber here with our quarterback, our All-American quarterback, Michael Niebrick, formerly of Fordham University, as well as locally Lake Braddock High School. And Mike, today we're going to take a look at a guy who you really like. Yeah, Travis, we're going to take a look at Travis Nainen here, and he's from Good Counsel. He's a 6'4", 210 quarterback, and uh, this kid's he's, he's a solid, solid football player and a very good passer. He's a pure pocket passer, and it kind of baffles me after watching this tape how this kid doesn't have more looks from some bigger schools. I mean, he doesn't have the biggest down-the-field arm, but he has a great feel and a great touch for those short to intermediate range throws. He has excellent footwork with his dropbacks, and he has excellent footwork moving around in the pocket. So a very exciting player to watch from a pure pocket passer standpoint. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of his tape. Yeah, so this first clip, I just want to start, you know, looking at his under center drop back mechanics. And nowadays, you don't see a lot of kids taking snaps from under center. You see a lot of kids doing, you know, the shotguns and the spread offense, stuff like that. And that's not what he does. He's a very well-rounded player. And he does, he, he's really impressive with his, diff, with his different drop backs, whether it be under center or in the gun. And this play actually all starts with him reading the defense. So just showing off his smarts a little bit as well. He sees a cover four sh shell here against a four vertical route concept, and he knows that his number two receiver here to the bottom of the screen is going to be one running what we call a bender route, which means he's basically going to find the safety in front of him and bend in about 15 yards up the field to get away from that safety and create some space. So Travis recognizes all of that pre-snap and knows that in order to get the ball to his receiver on time, he has to take this five-step rhythm throw. Now this is a very challenging drop back for a lot of quarterbacks because it's difficult to stop your momentum on that fifth step, plant your back foot in the ground and transition your weight forward. Now Travis does everything I just said to perfection here. He does a good job separating from the line of scrimmage on his third step. He plants his back foot with that fifth step and transitions his momentum forward to deliver a perfect throw for a touchdown. And, you know, like I said, these under center mechanics are something that are very rare to find for high school quarterbacks. And um, it's kind of a, a breath of fresh air seeing a kid this young being able to do that. And you got to like the fact that he did all that with a guy bearing down on him as well. You, yeah. You talk about that toughness. You got to respect that in a quarterback. Yeah, so this next clip here, we're going to kind of contrast and talk about his, his drop back mechanics now out of the shotgun. So this is actually the exact same route concept as the last clip, and he sees based on the coverage that he's going to be targeting his bender route again from his number two receiver to the field here. And the big key in, making, is in this play is making sure that the timing of the throw is the same from the shotgun as it was under center. So we saw when he was under center that he took that five-step rhythm throw. Now in the gun, that equates to about a quick three-step drop with two hitches, and that's exactly what we see Travis do here. He takes that snap, he takes the snap, and he does that quick three-step, starts hitching up in the pocket to gain ground, but it's also a timing for timing purposes. So he does a great job with that timing and then driving the ball down the field to his receiver. So these two plays here really show how well-rounded he is as a drop-back passer. Um, you know, you see two ex exact same throws from two very different dropbacks. So, um, you know, very good dropback mechanics and uh, very impressed with him. Yeah, definitely some good stuff there for Travis Nan. And one of the things you definitely are impressed with him about is his pocket presence, correct? Yeah, his pocket movement is extremely well, um, you know, well fine-tuned. And it kind of goes, co it coincides with his dropback mechanics as well. So we have a couple of clips here that I want to show his pocket movement and his footwork in the pocket. And what impresses me from watching his tape is how fluid he is in the pocket when there's, pr when there's pressures or pressure around him and the, then the little techniques that he uses to get out of the pressure. And a lot of quarterbacks, they do a good job at stepping up in the pocket to avoid the rush initially, but they, keep their, they drop their eyes when that rush mm -hmm. happens. Travis does a really good job moving through the pocket, but he keeps his eyes downfield, which, which leads to a lot of big plays for him because that's when you see wide receivers come open. So this clip here, Travis does a really nice job at feeling the rush and finding the soft spots in the pocket, which allows him, like, again, like I said, to keep his eyes down the field and deliver the football. And that's what we see here. He feels the pressure around him. He feels the pressure in his face. And he uses that back shoulder dip and rip here to get away from the pressure. And then he uses his feet to just find the soft spot in the pocket. And because he keeps his eyes downfield, that's what leads to that, that completion. And um, you know, you see this all, all over the tape, and it's, it's very impressive to see what he does with just the, su the subtle movements throughout the pocket. And of course, against a team like DeMatha, as we saw in that clip, 
pretty good pass rush. That's the type of stuff he's going to see at the next level. Any more looking at his uh, pocket presence? Yeah, just this last clip, uh, you know, almost, almost the same clip. Um, you know, basically he just does an excellent job feeling that pressure. And um, like we saw in that last clip here, if we can go ahead and roll. It's very impressive how he feels this pressure around him. He feels the rush coming up the field. All he does is take a few steps, a few hitches up in the pocket, and that gives him enough time to deliver the ball down the field. A perfect throw to the corner of the end zone, but it all starts with his movement in the pocket. If A lot of quarterbacks, they don't have that fluid motion. They feel the pressure around them, and then they don't really know what to do. They start to kind of spaz out a little bit with their feet, and that's where you see a lot of mistakes happen. A lot of young quarterbacks don't know how to fluidly move in the pocket and that was one of the most the things that I was so impressed with watching him his fluid movement his drop back mechanics I mean he is an excellent he is the definition of a perfect pocket passer at this age he has some things to fine tune but he is uh, he's very far along for for a kid that is going to be a rising senior this year and like you mentioned in a conference that he's in he needs to be doing these things and I think it's going to translate very well into college. We'll see exactly what he's able to do. Travis Nannan of Good Counsel, one heck of a player like a lot of the guys we see here on QB Academy. Thank you again, Michael. Again, for Mike, I'm Jeremy. This has been another edition of QB Academy. Remember, a new episode of QB Academy can be seen every Wednesday at dmvstream.com.